is Maturish, and this is the channel where we dish the ish on a mature tip. And this is another episode of Mains by Maturish, where we do hair, hair, hair. And today I'm coming to you with some synthetic drip. I'm really a synthetic kind of person. I like human hair, don't get me wrong. But for the money, synthetics have improved so much over the years that I actually enjoy synthetics. And when I get tired of them, I just get rid of them. And you don't feel like you've lost a fortune kind of thing. But I got a bob today, and she is one of the three-quarter halfling, or half, whoa, what did I just say? Half wigs. This one is by Sensational. Her name is Boss Baby. She's from the Curls and Kinks and Company collection. Now, I don't have any of these wigs because I found that they are really texture it like a blowout texture. And for that texture, personally, I prefer outray wigs. But they never came out with a bob half wig so I could use my headbands. And so I was looking for a bob half wig. And this is she. Now she's in the color 1B. And as you know, half wigs don't have parts. But it's a nice, nice bob here. And true to Halfway style, she does have a big long comb right here in the front. Oops. And then she has a slightly smaller comb in the back. And it actually has adjustable straps. Now, most of them have adjustable straps, but I'm finding not all of them have adjustable straps with the piano keys that you can tighten or loosen this so it'll fit more comfortably on your head. Now, on this channel, you know, we specialize in the no leave out because I got bright white bleached hair okay so we ain't no we're not leaving out any hair but what we can do is what everybody else does and that's just relax and enjoy it okay so because i've got on athleisure wear you know some leggings and a soft fleece sweatshirt i thought i'd go for something kind of fun like this headband that i just happen to have i now have like 700 headbands yes this happens to be one of many, many, many. Put that around my neck. And then I'm going to put on the wig. Now, I've left the piano keys open to the widest point. My head is small. I may have to adjust that. But I'm finding that the half wigs are very flat in the front. And that's what you really need if you're going to wear a headband over it and pretend like it's a headband wig. Well, I guess it really is a headband wig. You don't have to pretend. You ain't got to tell nobody nothing. But anyway, uh, it needs to be really flat in the front so that you don't have a hump in your headband. You want to protect your edges and your hair. There's a lot of combs in this. The cap is very stretchy, so it should be cool and breathable, but now we're going to see. I'm going to look in my mirror and try her on, okay? Attractive, huh? <laughs> Not yet. Okay, let's see if we can get this right the first time. Oh, she's thick. <laughs> this is a lot of hair. But I like it. I don't know if you can see the texture in the bob, but it's like a blowout texture that you would have if you've got like 4C hair. And I don't understand the recommendation on the card. It comes with a care card. It comes in eight different colors. You can see those. A ring light might be shining on it comes in special colors and all that. I just wanted a plain bob in a 1B. And it says all curl types from 3B to 4C. Now, it seems to me that you can wear any wig you want to. It doesn't matter what kind of hair type that you have. So I don't know what that recommendation means, but okay. Because it says this style is recommended for all curl types from 3B to 4C. But hair goes the other way from 3B, like 3A and on. I don't know what that means. That's just really strange. But on the other tip, you can do this as a leave out if you have leave out hair. If you do not, as I do not, you can do what I'm doing, which is to take your bob, get a headband. <laughs> now, we're gonna again, make sure that the hair is up under the headband in the back and in the front. That means opening up the headband. This is one that kind of crosses in the front, like a little turban headband. So I'm going to have a little knot right here in the front. But it's like the little flowery things and the simplicity of the print. It's nothing really fancy and bright. It's just black with white and shadowy flowers on it. Oh, that's not part of it. 
And that's part of the headband. And you can actually get this pretty close to your own hairline. I'm, I'm pushing it back and back and back. And she's coming out pretty good. Now, where is my comb? Here we go. Let's see how she looks when we're done. Oh, that's really nice. That's really pretty. I'm liking that. There's no, th this is, this is given, this is given work tees. So if you gotta go out to work, there might be something you might think about. You might wanna think about this. Save you many minutes laying lace first thing in the morning or wearing a wig two or three days after you've had it installed or however long you might wear it. I'm not apt to like to wear my wigs overnight unless it's an emergency. And I have done that a couple of times. I will generally only do that with a braided wig. Um, anything else I'm taking off for the most part at night. Let me see. It feels good. There's no flyaways. There is apps with these textured wigs, which is one reason I like the outre wigs. And I do have one other um, sensational wig that has texture in it. One of the things that I like best about the textured wigs is that they don't tangle. Almost not at all. Now I've got, let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on. Here. Just a moment. Nothing's going on there. I just had it combed weird. Okay. Nothing's shaking. There we go. But she's got plenty of movement and it's really, really soft. Just like your hair would be if you blow dried it after you've shampooed your hair and uh, had it trimmed and everything. It's really a very soft textured bob. I'm hoping you can see the texture. Now, if you do put heat to it, it's going to take the texture out of the wig. So, you know, whatever you get, you might want to keep you might you might want to say well you know you have to weigh that out let's put on some earrings and see how that goes over i think i got some gold yeah i got gold here oh yeah oh yeah baby this is a look this is a whole look this can go professional or casual i mean you it, what else do you need? This is her from the right side. I just really like the way she lays. I like the, I love a good bob though. That's probably my favorite hairstyle. There she is from the left. And I'll show her to you from the back. All the hair in the back. And I feel her moving back and forth. So she's got good movement. I, this is, this is, this was a steal. Because again, half wigs cost very little. Half wigs cost very little compared to a lace front wig. And I know the, what is it? The Curl Kinks and Company um, Sensational Wigs do have lace front wigs. They may be getting a little hard to get. Despite what you may have heard, there really is a shortage of lace in China. So if you're looking for lace front wigs, you might want to go on and get whatever you're going to get. Otherwise, get used to headband wigs, half wigs. We're doing whatever we can to keep the wig game strong, okay? Now... Get down in the comments and tell me what you like about this bob, or if you don't like the bob, or if you think it's ridiculous to do this. But for a half wig, they never ever reach $25. And once you've got a set of headbands, and again, these headbands came from Amazon, I'll link them below. I've got, uh, let's see, what other colors do I have here? I'm not putting them on, I'm just gonna show you, yeah. But I just ordered another, I just go through Amazon and order headbands. Because you want to change your look, you want to look the same all the time, no matter what your game is, okay? Here's a pretty blue one. This one's navy with some kind of daisies and things on it. But they're both wide. You can tell how wide they are in the back this way. So it's about three inches wide, which is a good length. If, you want, if you're wearing longer hair, this you can't pull up. Now, I think you could probably pull this back if it were bugging you. Although I'm not sure why it would bug you. But if it is bugging you right in here... Wait a minute, that might be a little bit of a look here. Hold on, hold on. Just one I'm always coming up with something. Let's see what I'm gonna do with this.
girl. I'm not sure what that is, but it's cute. <laughs> it was just something to do. I mean, you can play, play with your wigs, get used to them so that you have fun. When you do get ready to do something, you know, you might go, oh, you know, I remember when I pushed that up in the top and I had this little bunny thing going on. It didn't take me any time to do it. Of course, it ain't gonna take me no time to take it back down either. <laughs> but at any rate, this is hair that does not tangle. And because if it was gonna tangle, that would have been it. <laughs> it doesn't tangle. And it comes back looking just the way it was before I started playing with it and stuck it in top of my head. So, you know, you've got a lot of room to play. Get down in the comments, tell me what, what style you think this could, we could possibly do with this. Maybe make a couple of little braids or pull a couple of pieces of hair through the front and then curl those like a uh, little spiral curls in the front. There are lots of things that you can do with hair hair and more hair and so i'm getting ready to get out of here but i did want to let you know that nobody can do you better than you do you and you do it marvelously darling so until next time when we get into some more hair and some more things and another bop and another lick and another hairstyle toodles bye bye <laughs>